Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Zelda Master and here we are in the Lanaru Mining Facility. This is the third temple within the game and it is really cool, like really freaking cool. Right now everything looks a little barren and stranded and just ruined. It's not it's not nice, but things change up. It's really similar to how the uh, Lanaru Desert has been. This whole Lanaru province, uh, you know, we go back in time, sorta, and then technology kind of fixes up and everything looks super rad. It's kind of like that here, and it's really freaking cool, and I can't wait to show it off, and we're gonna go ahead and get started, so yeah, let's do this. Uh, I'm excited. It's It's been actually a while since I recorded the uh, last set of videos. It may not be for you, maybe like a day or two if you're watching this, as I upload it daily, but, or almost daily, you know, I, I miss a couple days, but... <laughs> Yeah, I've been really busy. Uh, it's been like over a week since I recorded the last uh, video or just the last set of videos. So it's kind of weird jumping back into things. Man, guys, I have been so inconsistent with recordings. It's ridiculous. Like, I feel really bad for that. And I know I'm going super off topic, but what I'm doing right now here is, is pretty standard. Like, you know, I'm just bombing walls. I'm kind of looking around trying to uh, get anything I can get and avoiding these enemies because if they do jump on you, uh, they'll actually cause Link to fall down and you gotta like shake them off and stuff. And I'll, I'll, let, I'll let them do it. I'll demonstrate what happens exactly. But let's go ahead and use our uh, hook beetle so we can bomb not just this guy, but this here so we can use the lever over there that will actually open up the door. So yeah, I'll... Go ahead and show that off in a second, but uh, I believe there's a chest we could pick up here. But as I was saying, uh, yeah, super, super crazy uh, past couple, past week. Like, the last week has been crazy. I've been out of town uh, doing something pretty personal, and uh, I don't really, I honestly don't want to get into it actually. But uh, I'll tell you this kind of the outcome of the whole trip has gotten me really down. And uh, it just sucks because I don't really feel so motivated. I <gasps> yes, a jelly blob. Get, give it to me. Okay, thank God. I. <laughs> wow, like my mood changed completely. Who knew? <laughs> I can go from feeling really down to just amazed and happy from a jelly blob. That's how it works, man. That's how it works. They they're the key to your heart. Okay, let's be careful though. <laughs> but no, um. In all seriousness, uh, yeah, just pretty down last week, uh, and uh, I'm really hoping I can just, you know, shake it all off and get back into things, because uh, during that week I've been gone, I haven't been working out, I haven't been eating well, I actually lost over 10 pounds within a week, and I know that is horrible, especially when you're not doing anything, like, it's not like I, you know, really burned off the fat, it's just I didn't eat well, so... Yeah, and, and I hate talking about about stuff like this, like, you know, something that really affected me, and um, then just not saying what it is, but it's it's most likely really irrelevant to, uh, to people watching the video, and it's, like, super personal, so I'm not going to get into it, but I feel like I should at least update you guys on just how I'm feeling, because, you know, I do want to talk to you guys, and it's just cool to let you guys know generally what's going on, even though... I won't go into, you know, exact detail, if that makes any sense. And if you guys understand and get what I mean, let me know. Because, you know, I do... I, your comments make my day. It's like the best thing. You know what's awesome? When you're sitting down, just feeling down, and then you just open up YouTube and look through all the comments you get on videos. Like, that's... I swear that's like the best gift a uh, content creator can get. Uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not being sappy, and I'm not just saying that just for no reason I actually really mean it and I really appreciate that that's why I love this as like a thing I love doing YouTube and I know I, I don't know why I'm talking about this right now I guess just you guys are feeling really weird I feel like venting but uh, yeah as you saw in that room you know everything's kind of self-explanatory you know I don't really have to get too much into detail. Actually, let me go ahead and let this guy attack me. Watch what happens. So they jump on you, and then you gotta break free. I believe they can actually knock you down on the floor. It's kind of funny. I love how they just grab onto you. Uh, they're pretty interesting enemies, but uh, yeah. This... Ooh! Another one. Yes! Okay, sweet. More jelly blobs. We actually need them, because if I want to upgrade anything, for some reason, jelly's just, like, so important. 
uh, to, uh, to upgrade stuff. So, yeah, I'm glad to grab them. And I love the music that plays in this temple. It, it is super, super repetitive because it's like the same beat constantly repeating and then, you know, some other instruments and stuff jump into play, but it's like really rare and stuff. Uh, but it has a charm to it. And I think, like I said, uh, with me and and experiencing video games especially, music is just super, super important in that regard. I need music to like really, uh, to really captivate me and like, and it just put me in the, in the mood and it like, I don't know, it just really works. Like without music, I can't really feel like I'm experiencing everything fully. Uh, it'd be weird. I imagine real life with music, like all your events, you know, something bad happens, just uh, some dramatic music starts playing or something. That'd be really cool. Uh, though when I do, feel bad or down or anything I do love to listen to music you know that's kind of like my go-to thing but I think it's a lot of people's like just go-to thing when you're not feeling oh so well um, and yeah I, someone did actually no okay I know okay because I know I'm really off topic and I'm talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the game and you guys are watching me play it and it's like okay so I'm gonna pick up this chest and I believe it's gonna be a small key and we'll be able to advance someone and so forth it's, it's super simple but um, I noticed a lot of people have been complaining about, like, commentary-wise. Now, I can't actually head up here because there's a block blocking it. So we have to take this key and go elsewhere. And we can't really go anywhere else except backtracking. So, yeah, uh, I gotta do that. But, uh, I'd say the biggest complaint I've been getting, uh, throughout this Let's Play, especially since I've been recording it so... Uh, you know, out of the ordinary, not like all clumped up together where my mind's fixed on one thing. And, you know, I haven't really been... Because usually when I do that, then I kind of like vent out everything that's been going through me. And then since I do it in such a short time period, uh, nothing new happens in between, of course, because it's such a short time period that I can't really talk about anything else besides mainly focus on the game and just general opinions. So uh, I think this is kind of better that I am kind of spacing things out. Uh, and yeah, we use the key, we backtrack, we use the key, we open up this door, because it's the only door we can enter. Uh, you get it. Um, but, all right, this, yeah, there we go. He need to hit, these bloaty guys will uh, hit walls, and if they do, if, if they get in contact with anything, uh, they will actually explode, and they will explode instantly on contact if uh, they aren't bloated up with the spikes shooting out of them. So don't touch them with your sword when they are like that. You want to be extra careful, so yeah. Um, but I forgot what I was saying again. I... oh yeah. Uh, just recording in like a certain time crunch is a lot different than recording when you space everything out, so... Uh, I feel like my commentary is a lot different than any other Let's Play because I am spacing this project out, but I did not mean to do that. Really dumb. Um, okay, so like I said, I do read you guys' comments. I notice a lot of people don't really... Oh my god, what am I doing right here? I'm really screwing this up. Okay, let's just use the motion controls properly because, you know, a lot of people make fun of me for that, but I'm good at them, I think. I'm gonna go ahead and push this like that so I can blow up this box that way I can head up here. That was the whole uh, plan. That's what I was trying to do, but I kept failing. And there you go. Done and done. But, as I was saying, um, head up here, Link. Come on. <laughs> I get sidetracked a lot. Uh, is that I realize the only complaint you guys don't like when I talk about things and stuff and other things like that is uh, when I complain about the game in particular. That's like the biggest, I guess, pet peeve uh, a lot of people have. And I can't help it. This is like the only, I think this is literally the only Zelda Let's Play I've ever done where I complain about the game. And it's not because I am in a moody and bad mood in general to where I feel like I should complain. I mean, that does kind of influence me to want to complain. Also, wait. See what happened? The music got so much more hype. Uh, but what I did is, yeah, I hit the crystal, and now we're in, like, the past, not the present. And it's freaking awesome, dude. It's so awesome. Ah, uh, this is what makes this temple so cool, because you get to do this constantly, and you just get to see the same room twice, but completely different. It it's, looks nothing alike. It's, I don't know, it just, it really works out. It's really awesome design. Alright, so, uh, 
Dang it, I was really hoping I'd be able to actually get the sword strike before he attacked me, but I couldn't. But it's just a slash and then a thrust, and you're done. Uh, not too hard. But let us continue. But the music is super hard. Um, but yeah, the reason why I complain is not just because I'm in a bad mood, even though I feel like that might be a reason. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, it's not that I'm in a bad mood. I'll never record when I'm in a really bad mood, but, um, you know, I guess I feel a little choked when, when, uh, when certain stuff doesn't go the way I plan it to, so I instantly start complaining, which I guess any, I, I mean, anyone can understand that. I think everybody does that, so, yeah, but, um, I'd say what really, uh, influenced me, influences me to like actually head on this game and I'm not hating I mean I'm just complaining about small things I dislike is because this game has the most potential in any Zelda game and it's the only one that really showed like a lot of lacking uh, traits I guess like so I don't know it's just okay the motion I have nothing against the motion controls see I'm playing with them fine it, it does annoy me at times and I know that to most people that's their biggest issue with Skyward Sword it is but for me that's not my issue I actually don't mind them like you get used to them really quickly and you appreciate them because it's different and it, I like I like how Nintendo always thinks outside of the box I think that's actually like the coolest thing about them we never get the same thing we're always gonna get something new it's usually innovative and it's just like bleh, this is amazing I'm so glad they actually did this because if we had the same uh, thing every time it would just get really stale kind of like uh, it's a, I don't really want to hate on a franchise but I want to say like Assassin's Creed uh, I never really I see I can't judge it per se because I haven't actually played a lot of it But I, I just really feel like Assassin's Creed is just the same thing every time so I never played anyone besides the first one And I don't plan on it, you know, but if you're an Assassin's Creed fan Let me know and if it's really any different and don't get mad at me because like I said this is an outsider's opinion So don't hate unless you want to write my fate. I don't know what that meant. I just really wanted to rhyme, so yeah. <laughs> but anywho, let's go ahead and hey, buddy, time to explode. All right, hit him. Uh, perfect. We yeah, cause you can use bombs. You can, or you can use the bloody dudes to uh to do the dirty explosions for you, and they instantly respawn, which is convenient. That way you don't have to uh, waste a lot of bombs here. Uh, just in case you do run out of bombs, you have them to uh, kind of do your own thing. But, yeah. Um, I actually forgot what I was saying now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, how I'm not, I don't hate on this game because of the controls, that's not the reason. I, I do complain about the controls, but obviously that isn't the reason. Uh, my biggest issue, and we just got the item of the dungeon, we don't really have to fight a mini boss, but it is the gust blower, or is it called gust blower? It's called the gust bellows, and uh, woo, look, check it out, yeah, it, it blows stuff. It reminds me a lot of the, uh, the gust jar. Yeah, from Minish Cap. I believe that's where they got inspiration from, maybe? But, uh, this one's a lot better because it just doesn't do giant puffs. It continuously shoots air. It's like a vacuum, a reverse vacuum. Or, I guess, vacuums usually have that option where it allows you to do that. So, yeah, it's just like a vacuum. Um, so we can clean anything we want. And, uh,. Okay, so let me let me try to stay on topic for like more than two seconds because that must get really annoying. Oh, look, a blue feather. Okay, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, yeah, the only reason why I do constantly critique, I guess, this game is because I, I felt like it had a lot of potential and it is the new Zelda game, so it feels relevant to constantly talk about. I know they announced the Zelda Wii U and I know this is not literally the newest because we got uh, a link between worlds. I don't know if Spirit Tracks came after this, did it? No, I don't think so. Even if it did, what, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I don't compare any, I, I, I like, home console Zelda games are on their own page, uh, and then, you know, handheld consoles are also on their own page, so I can never really compare them as the same thing. 
So in the, in, the, in this room, there are more things I can explode. I mean, I doubt I'm gonna get anything good. Maybe like an ember relic. Yeah, let's just see what I find here. Okay, well, you know, now I'm not gonna look because I I just wanted one ember relic and I got one. So take that, man. I don't need to look anymore. Most likely I was gonna find like maybe another ember relic or something but I don't care so yeah and it's not that I don't care I just don't want to waste too much time here because you know we got to do stuff we gotta we gotta progress because this temple's really long and there's stuff we gotta fight and things yeah totally gnarly dude whoa let's clean yeah this is fun who, who likes cleaning well now you can clean in video games dude yeah all right let's open up this door and see what awaits I don't know <laughs>